there's Mr. Krabs. Look at Jack fishing in a land hole. <laughs> so many fish in the creepy tide pool today. Any fish in here? Holy cow, they're fast. I got them. Triple right here. Crushed. Barry, Barry. Holy oh, crap, Barry. I think we can put the puffas in now, Jack. Here we are, ready to go right now. And Jack was just talking, he's a little salty because his, he starts school. He's got, got homework. He's got homework. He's on the seven year plan in college. It's fine, it's not Possible a big deal. Eight. Just take your time in college. <laughs> Jack's been in college for a while. It's all right, though. It's all right. You know, he loves get college the, life. Get the degree. Don't matter how long it takes. Mom, Dad, I'm doing it for you. Yeah, exactly. I'll get her done. Yeah, exactly. Go to school. Stay in school. Now, we got to get out there. We are on a mission right now. So last time when we caught those pilcher for Barry, we walked down there towards the beach. But this time, we're going to everyone's favorite spot, a lot of your guys' favorite spot, which is down here in the shrubs, in the bushes. We're going through the forest to get to the spot. You guys know and love it and we catch a lot of fish there. We've caught some really weird stuff there before, to be honest with you. So we've caught pretty much anything you can think of here. Kudas, snappers, we even caught a giant horseshoe crab once, which was so rare. That was probably the rarest catch we've ever caught in our lives. And we're working through the jungle here. And we gotta be careful because- Banana spider. There's big banana spiders, but we gotta be on the lookout because there's giant land blue crabs that are sick. And sometimes they- Look at the inside. Look at double header, oh double my threat. Double. Oh my gosh. Thread. Can you guys even see that it's in the some, video? Bro, look one straight above you. Right here. Where? Right there. Dude, oh that's summertime, God. bro. I'm telling you. This camera can't even focus on it because he's. There he is. Summertime in the forest. Banana you gotta watch out. So you definitely gotta watch out. Now I'm keeping my eyes peeled on the land because I'm telling you guys, I've caught Seen only, snakes in here too, bro. Only one before the giant blue land crab. What about them snakes? Watch your footing. Could be coral snakes. There's the crab. <gasps> Where? He's going in the hole. See him? No. See him? I don't see him. Oh my God, okay. Uh, There's a I, giant blue crab? Yeah. We have to catch him. Look. Where, where is he? Okay, you gotta follow this line right here. He's about to go in the hole, he's about to go in the hole. He's going in the hole. I don't see him, dude. Zo yeah, oh, it's right there. I don't see him, they're so- just Watch, just keep the camera there, you're gonna see him go in. You, you have eyes on a blue crab. I have eyes on a blue crab right now, big one. See him? He's about to go in that hole right there. I don't see him, bro. He's about to go in the hole. He's right there. He's going down. He's going down. I don't know what you're looking he's at. He's going down. He's right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. There he he's is. He's right there. He's right there. We've only caught one of those. There he Blue goes. crab. Oh, he can't. Dude, even we fit. can get him. He can't even fit in the hole. We can get him, bro. He can't grab him, hole. Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me just grab him. Do you see the size of that claw? Jack, grab him, bro. That is the first land blue crab. You know what we're doing. We're fishing in holes. This is the first one I've seen that we can actually catch. We have to grab him. Chris, you do, do you see the size of the claw on that thing? Should I get the net? Jack's How is fishing. The net? <laughs> Jack's fishing out of a. I'm gonna get him. Come here, Mr. Blue Crab. This is a small guy. Oh shoot! <gasps> he's no. gone. I see him. I see him. He's gone. No, he's not. He's right here. Mosquitoes! Mosquitoes! Jack, stop! You just scared the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> There's so many mosquitoes, bro. Just stay still. You want malaria? Now we're stuck. It's on a rock. Okay. Only hook we had, by the way. That's oh. it. That's it. Jack, look at Jack's fishing. I knew we should have gotten out of here. Got it. We cannot give up the chance to catch this rare species. Literally fishing in a hole. Jack's fishing in a hole. Oh, I had him. Oh, you had him, Jack. There's Mr. Krabs. Sitting in the hole. He's just out of reach. I, I don't think this hook is going to catch. Look at Jack, fishing in a land <laughs> hole. I, I just don't think it's going to catch, bro. What just happened? Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. We, we, it'd be an hour. The land crab eluded us. Let him. Let him. Let him be. I, I did catch one slipping before, though. I caught one slipping. You did. Now I'm gonna across tunnel. the the water, and we caught that that one. But maybe when we walk back out, we'll try to find him. I just put my bag down, and I'm like, what are those, dude? Look at this family of red bugs. Does anyone know what these are? Let me know down in the comments if you know what those are and if you've ever seen them before and if they do bite. Because those things look scary. And you guys know, if there's an insect that's bright red, it's trying to tell you something. So we don't want to mess with those guys. So we've seen a land crab and creepy bugs so far. Let's lock in. We're as dialed as ever. Look at those puffers in the shallows, dude. There's a couple puffs. I love when it's like this, just super shallow. Really cool. And we can get by the tide pool and see what's in there. But when the water's shallow like this, it is so freaking cool. I see multiple puffers. 
Swimming in the water over there. They got our names on them. What? Those puffas. I know, I'm gonna tell them up. I'm gonna throw this piece of shrimp in there. See if we can get them chummed. Throw them in there. First things first, I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna catch a fish. See what's going on. See what kind of, let's see, see if the fish are biting today. You know what I'm saying, Chris? That's rule number one. You gotta see if they're biting. So you go off the corner. Ooh, nice, Jack. Go off the corner of the TP and you leave it. <gasps> Bro, I had a cuda. I had a barracuda. I don't even have a hook. I had a barracuda when I threw it off the corner. Look at that. Literally no hook. I, did, I, barely, I, had, I was tight for like two seconds and I reeled in and I don't have a hook anymore. Dude. I that was a cuda, guaranteed lock it up. Lock it. They're right off the corner, that lock been, it. That could have been a jumbo mumbo. I know. Gotta put another hook on now. I'm gonna venture into the shallows here. Where you at, puffaz? There they are. Couple puffaz right there. They're not even scared of me. What do we have in here? Anything in here? There's always stuff in here. So you guys can see that debris in there. That's what everything likes to stay by. Like eels and big fish, they all like that debris. And there's a lot of debris. I don't remember it ever looking like that. There's a big tree in there. Someone must have thrown inside of the tide pool. But that's kind of good. Oh yeah, there's a snapper right there. Big snap. Look at all the fish in there, dude. There's a sergeant major. There's a couple snappers, couple sergeant majors in there. All swimming around right underneath me. If we throw shrimp in here, they're guaranteed to come. And, I, and there might even be an eel inside of this branch here. But if you guys can see, I'm trying to focus on them. When they swim in the area with no glare, like that guy. Look at that, look at that sergeant major. Look at that snapper. Is he big? So clear this water, dude. Crystal clear. There's so many fish down here, it's insane, Jack. We can catch them right out of this, dude. So many fish in the creepy tide pool today. I absolutely love to see it. Sometimes you come and there's no fish in here, sometimes it's loaded up like it is right now. First fish of the day, big puffer. Big mama puffer. Now this is kind of actually what we're at. Jack! You just lost a puffer. Well, that's kind of like what we're after today, but we want to get those baby ones and put them inside of the palma pots and pans. We're going to stuff them up really good. That way, you know, they're not aggressive towards them, but I really think if we feed them a lot, which we're going to have to go get like five pounds of tilapia, feed them heavy, we can put those in there and then have a flurry of baby puffer fish. Now, as we look around today, there's really not as many as there usually no, are. Different today. So we might be only, only able to catch like 10, Maybe 20, maybe 30, I don't know. But if you guys want us to come back and maybe get like, I think we gotta come back when the tide's higher. Yeah. We can throw the net and literally get like 80. You guys have seen the video on TikTok of us doing it. It has like 10 million views, something crazy. Then we can put all those inside there. But the puffer fish are what we're after today. We're doing a little experiment. We're on a little test today. What kind of fish can we put in the pond and what size do they have to be where they can just thrive and not get eaten by pots and pans? Like pots and pans are not gonna care about a puffer fish this big, or will they? But who eats puffer fish anyways? Like what fish is eating a puffer fish? So that's what we were thinking. Let's try to put some cool fish in the pond. Ooh, needlefish right here. Jack, bunch of needles right here, babies. Bunch of baby needles you can net right now. So we're in a mission right now to see which fish we can add to the pond, which small ones. And we want some small, we want some fish swimming around in there. Like we wanna get some cleaner wrasse in there, wanna get some baby puffers. That's our mission today. We're really trying to find out what is gonna work. Now speaking of cleaner wrasse, it's like a blue and black and white wrasse. Really, really cool fish. Let us know by dropping a like on this video if you guys think we should buy like a hundred of them. Cause I know pots and pans will not eat those guys cause they're helpful to everybody. If we can get, if we should get like a bunch of them and put them all in the pond, drop a like on this video if you guys wanna see that. I'm gonna roll some B-roll right now of what a cleaner wrasse looks like. A bunch of those guys swimming in the giant saltwater pond would be awesome to see. Let us know by dropping a like. I'm fishing. Fishing from range. Fishing in the tide pool. Fishing from range. Now, I'm gonna keep my, my Yeah, camera. you stay low. I'm gonna keep the camera on. Can you bring it this way more? Like, right there. Drop it down because I can see the fish. Trying. And we're gonna catch something out of the tide pool. Watch this. Leave it right there, Jack. Trying. There's a snapper coming up right to it. Talk to me. Jack refuses to come over here because his, he says his boots will fill with water. You know you can dump the water out of your boots, right? Yeah, and then guess what? And it's pouring rain. Guess what, then my socks are soaked. Why would you wear socks to the beach? 
Don't even start with that. You're Mr. Sneakers and Socks every day. Yeah, when I don't wear boots. Let me go and let me go from range. They don't want to look at your head. They want to be eating in peace. Look, there's a snapper darting right towards it, Jack. That's what I'm saying, bro. They want no, it in he the turned back. Off, he turned off of it. He knows. Incognito, just says, wait. This guy has the dumbest boots on. I'm not just even Just wait. The fish are being picky today, but as you guys can see, I hope you guys can see all the fish darting around in here. There's absolutely so many. There's so many darting around in there. Now this is literally like a natural saltwater pond for a couple hours a day. Can you guys believe that? Look how cool that is. Got this huge pond. I wonder how many gallons of water is actually in here. Oh, look at that. Look at that light with the fish in there. So sick. Look at that. So this is a literal natural saltwater pond. That is so freaking cool. We're gonna try the other one though, see if they're eating in that one. This is the one right next to it. So that was the one we were fishing right there. Now we're on this one. There's already puffas right there. Bugs, I don't know what those bugs are. Sea roaches. All right, now I went back to the car and got the GoPro. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the tide pool with the GoPro. So there's a ton of fish around the logs. I hope you guys can see. Just lost my sandal. Come back, do not escape me. No, nope. oh. I'm gonna put it in here and all the fish are chilling by this log. So you guys can check it out, it looks really cool. Hope you guys can see with the GoPro. Now, as you guys can see, the GoPro is in a fisheye lens, so the fish look small, but there is some bigger snapper down there. There's some snapper. There might've been a puffer in there, Sergeant Major's in there, but look how cool it looks in this literal man-made outdoor saltwater pond that happens twice a day during low tide. It's absolutely sick. All the fish love it in here. So it's really, really cool to get a different view of the pond with that GoPro. Looks amazing, all the fish swimming around. These branches, I don't think were here before. So it gives them a nice little structure to swim around in during the low tide period. It's really cool. But the fish are not eating in the tide pool today for some reason, so we're gonna break out the cast net and see if we can net some fish that are lurking about. Ladies and gents, the fish were not eating today. I don't know what it was. They would not eat my shrimp other than maybe two puffer fish. So you know what that means? We're gonna have to force feed them. We're gonna have to start throwing the net, see what's around here. And uh, that's okay, because you never know what you can catch. So let's do this thing. We're gonna start that way. We're gonna work our way like this. What do you say? Let's go, Chris. Watch this rogue um, wood with rusted nails. That's a tetanus shot. Step number one, always make sure you have no tangles. Look at that. Flawless net. Step two, throw it. There's a whole, oh my God, look at all these needlefish right here. Look at all these needlefish. So many needles. Holy cow, they're fast. Did you get any? Yep, I got them. I got like five. A couple babies, there's some perch in there. Jack just crushed the needlefish. Look at all those, dude. Just absolutely crushed the needles. There's got so Got some many. perch too. He's escaping, oh, he just went through my freaking feet. Get out of the net. Thing is, with the needles, they bite. The net. And they then bite they the net so life. hard. Big one's escaping, Jack. All right, look at these things right here. Double, I don't think this is the same needlefish that we caught when we were at the pier, because if you actually look, they have different coloring. They have red right here, and some of them have yellow. I don't know if this guy has yellow. They got a little bit of yellow on the tips of their fins, but we're dueled up needlefish style right here. Full blown needlefish style. I think we caught like five in the net. A few of them went back in the water, but we got a few of them here. I'm gonna let this guy go so we can look at this big one. Get on out of here, buddy. But there you have it, needle. Whoa. There's the needle fish right there. First find of the day. If you can't catch them on rod and reel, start slinging the net, baby. See what you can find like that. Needle fish, pretty epic. Let's let this guy go. Bye bye, my friend. There he goes. Get on out of here, get your bearings, boy. There he goes. We're gonna start throwing the net a little bit more. We're gonna see if we can find some puffer fish. Like Chris said, usually they're schooled up. Like it's literally you throw the net, you catch 50. But today, we gotta work for him. Here we go. Let's see. Come on, bring this net in slow. Let it fold, let it fold. Talk to me, talk to me. What do we got, Jack? Did we get anything? We got some perch. Big puffer. Big one? Oh my God, we did get a big and one. And a little one. One big, one little. One big, one little. We got a double header here. Yep, we got a DH. We don't want the big ones though, I don't think. No, not the big, but we take the little. Where'd the little one go? I don't know. I think he escaped. You're kidding. You're kidding. Dude, we just had him. Come there he is. Where? There he is. He's oh my blended God, he's in. blended in. So we got little perch and we got this perfect size little baby puffer right here. This little baby puffer. Or we're trying him for sure. Yeah. This little baby puffer fish right here will one day be just like this guy right here. So we're gonna see if we can get a whole flurry of these guys. It'll be super funny to see them swimming around in there. Turn this guy loose. 
But this guy right here, I think, is gonna be perfect. Look at that little dude. That is gonna be, eight, eight. who knows? This could be Potts' best friend right here, one day. Let's see, we, let's see if we can catch some more. Let's get this guy in the bucket. Triple right here. Triple. Crushed, crushed, crushed. Stay in the net. These things can be wizards. They can really just swim right underneath the, the, uh, the rope or the weights. I think I got him. I don't know if I got all three, but I think I got two. I think I got two. There's two, three, there's a third. Get out, there we go. Triple, dig, water, water. Triple popper fish right there. Look at these little dudes. Oh, they're so funny. At night, they actually bury in the sand like this. I used really? to have a few of them in my fish tank and all of a sudden you would just see two eyes out of the freaking sand, just like this. <laughs> and they're just bright, bright orange. But we got three of them right here. Perfect size puffer fish. So now- Those are nice ones, Jack. Yeah, these are perfect. Now we're at four. We gotta keep going though. I don't know, I think four might be good you for today. You think four is good? Should we just try four? I don't know because they're not thick. So we spend a lot of time in, when they're in the bucket. We wanna get them in the aquarium as quick as possible, not keep them in a bucket for long. Usually there's hundreds here though. We only see small schools. I know. But usually it's like, when that fills all the way up, the whole entire thing is pufferfish. It's, it's so cool, because they're just so cute and they're just swimming around. But and this is where you get the baby ones. This is why we came here. The baby ones are here. And like at my dock, it's all giant horse freaking pufferfish. Now we haven't been over on this side in a while. This is where it leads to the tunnel in the back. We used to do a lot of videos back here. We haven't done one in, I would say a year, maybe over a year. But look at this cool little river that stems, that's from the ocean. That pipe leads all the way across, all the way to the ocean. So we could catch some really cool stuff and we have caught some really cool stuff out of this tunnel. So there's a lot of stuff we could possibly do here and there's tons of puffers in this shrubbage here, all swimming around. Look at that, all back there. Now we have talked about coming back and doing a tunnel fish trap here, but it seems like a lot of debris has come through that tunnel and fallen, or just, you know, they cut down these trees, I guess, and they left the debris here. So it's kind of roadblocked, but there's still fish swimming through. So I do want to come back, look at this puffer, all up in the, in the trees there. It's sick. So there could be some stuff swimming around in this, which would be cool, and we want to do another tunnel fish trap, but we're going to have to probably come when it's a little bit higher tide and put it a little bit further back inside of this tunnel. So if you guys would want to see that, drop a like down in this video because we've been talking about it for a while. But if it's like in the middle between high and low tide and we can drift it back all the way in there and see what's lurking about inside this tunnel because there is some cool stuff in there. Hello! Whoa, that's so weird. Hello! Wow, this tunnel goes a long way. Any fish in here? That would be sick to do. Guys, I think we have to do it. We have to do it. We're gonna have to wait till like higher tide because this is tricky now, but that would be sick. I think we got what we came for. Let's go check on pots and pans, feed those guys, and then give them their new best friends. Let's do it. The puff of fish. Puff -a. The camera's dead right now. It's literally dying as we speak. It's on 1%. We got what we wanted to come for. We didn't get as many as we wanted, but we got what we came for. Now is the moment of truth. Will they be best friends with pots and pans? Potts used to have a buddy that was a small minnow, the OG Potts. He had a little tiny guy, his name was Minnow Sins. He never ate him and he was a tiny minnow. That's what we hope for these puffer fish. We got a couple moment of truths right now. First, will they eat the puffer fish? I don't think so. Second, will Barry eat tilapia? Because he's been in here for a while and all those pilcher we put in are gone. He ate all of them, but we didn't capture any of it on camera. So let's hopefully get a capture of Mr. Barry the Barracuda eating on camera. Watch out, it's feeding time. Pots, you ready boy? Let's go. Where's the food? Not in its designated area, wonder who put it there. The guy behind the camera. Here we go, 12 fillets today, big feeding. Order up, that is a nice bucket of fillets. Look at that thing. That's 12 fillets. That is gorgeous, Jack. Dude, I think Barry's eating today. I think he's gonna eat, dude. Bear. I'm gonna get a nice up top shot of him. Bear. Actually, don't throw to him yet, dude. We gotta feed the jungle no, giants first. Look at how pristine he looks, bro. His scales all grew back so good. He's got his good color back. He looks amazing. I just don't think he's gonna eat after he sees a freight train come and blow this into pieces. I know, I agree. Guess we gotta do what we gotta do, Chris. 
We haven't had an up top shot of pots in a while, so let's give it to him. Oh. He scares me. Bro. I like that. He didn't splash it. Nah. I hate when he splashes water everywhere. He scares me. This is the guy we need to feed. I don't, I'm not worried about pans eating the pufferfish. It's pots. The guy will eat glass minnows if he's hungry. Nice. Peaceful, man. Very peaceful. Peaceful fish today. Give it to this guy. Pans? Nope. No sharing. Oh. Oh. He sisted it. Oh, it's a big filet, bro. Look at that filet. Mama. Big mama filet. Come on, Bets. Come on, Bets. Bets. Good boy. He's being really good today. He's not splashing the water. I agree. I, I really enjoy that. Come on, Bets. One more. Pot, seriously, you need to eat until you literally are going to explode. There you go, bud. Nice and peaceful. Good. What is that for him? Four or five? I think it's four. Fans? Fans? He's scared of it. He's the biggest baby grouper ever, bro. He ate it though. He's such you. a baby. Thankfully. We've got four left, including this one. I think, is it, is, it time, is it Barry's turn? Who wants that one? That's a big chunk. Here comes Pots. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Pans for the clean. There you go, Good. Pans. Good for you, buddy. Good. And here's the Tesselata. He was actually showing himself for once. Look at that guy. What a beast. We gotta get him to come out and start hand feeding from the surface like all the other eels though. That's for Barry. Barry, come on boy. You can do this. Barry. Barry, Barry. Holy crap, Barry. Barry, Barry. Barry. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he's not used to the dead food yet. He will be though. Now Barry does eat the live pilcher. As you can see, there's no pilcher in the pond at all anymore because Barry went to town on those. So he ate all of those. So he's, he still is being a healthy barracuda. He's just got to get used to eating the dead food first. Amen. That's Beast. good. That's huge. That popped That's them huge. Off. Okay, I think we can put the puffers in now, Jack. We need four names down in the comments for each puffer. They're a group. <laughs> They're a group. They stay so together. Cute. They stick together. So cute. An array of puffer fish. The four going in first. Pots and pans cannot fit an ounce left in them. As we keep feeding them, keeping them fat, these guys are gonna thrive in here, dude. I really think they're gonna thrive. Let's you ready it. for this? Yep. There you guys go. Hey guys. They are so cool. Pans is scared of them. Pans is literally scared of them. They are going towards the back. They have a ton of rock. We're gonna have to get inside this pond here soon and fix the rock structure because, as you guys can see, it crumbled like we thought was gonna happen. We're gonna have to probably glue it, but look at those four puffer fish inside of the pond. They're so I, cute. Yeah, if we get more, they'll be, they'll be better off in numbers, you know? So that is so cool though, the checkered puffer fish little babies. Four of them in here, drop four names. Mo, Larry, Curly, and Stooges. The four. Pots and pans. Woo! He's darting around. They love they it. They love here. it, dude. They love it. That's sick. Look at this guy by the rocks. He blends right in. Oh, look at this guy. He's right in front of the glass. What's your name, buddy? Mr. Papa. Dude, that's so cool, bro. That's sick. We got baby bobbers in here. Dude, I like them in here a lot. I Let's want more. Oh, I want more too. I think we need more babies. We've got four. I think we need to triple it. All right, you guys, there you have it. That could be one of my favorite things we actually just added to the saltwater pond. We need some more variety. We need some movement going on inside the pond. I think those guys are gonna do a super great job. Drop some names down below, all four puffer fish. If you guys want us to go back and get more, leave a like on this video. Today was an awesome day. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. We'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.